Hi, I'm Paulette Friedel, and today I'm going to show you how to draw a fish using very simple geometric shapes, and then I'm going to show you how to paint it using simple watercolor techniques. Fish are a great subject for any artist to do, especially for a beginner. They have a very streamlined shape, which could be represented with ovals. They have a nice tail represented with a triangle. They've got two sets of dorsal fins. They have different types of mouths. But what makes them the most unique thing in order to paint? There's no color that man knows of that's not found in a fish. Today I'm going to show you how to draw the Nassau grouper. Nassau grouper are a protected species here in South Florida. They once were very prolific in our oceans, but because grouper is such a tasty fish, you find them in many, many restaurants, they overfished it. But the Nassau grouper has great colorations. It's got broad brown stripes and kind of a creamy body. He's very timid. He lives around coral reefs and on rocks. There's many other type of grouper you can see in some of my pictures here. But the Nassau grouper is our subject matter today. For our drawing today, all you need is a number two pencil, good eraser, nice sheet of white paper, and it's always good to have a selection of source material for you to look at as you're drawing your object. To begin with, we're going to make an oval. So put your hand in a bit of a circle, put it down when it feels right, but keep it rather light. Make a box. That's going to be the peduncle where the fish is attached to its tail and a triangle for the tail. The front of the fish, we're going to make another triangle. And then we're going to go a little bit forward of center and make a light line. This is going to be a reference line. We're going to come up on an angle and make like a half box. That's going to be the hard dorsal and a half circle for the soft dorsal. Following that line, we have another triangle for the ventral fin and another half circle for the anal fin. Following that line, we put in a triangle, and that's going to be the pectoral fin. Now we come up here to make the mouth on the front of the triangle. Come down so it's about a third of the way down on your oval, and then come up about a third of the way up and bring it up to the end of the triangle. This will be the lower lip. We round it, follow our line, come right up in front of the pectoral fin, and make like a point. That's going to be the operculum, or the gill cover. Round the top lip, and then we're going to follow our lines, going making a little bit of a point in front of that hard dorsal, follow all the way to the tip of the tail. We're going to come under that gill covering, stop for the ventral fin, pick it up again, follow those lines again, and we have the bottom line. Now for the outside of the tail, or caudal fin, make just like a soft squiggly line. That's going to be for that soft tail. These are reef-dwelling fish, and they don't swim real fast, so they got a soft tail. Now for their mouth, we're going to line it up to make the eye. Nice circle there for the eye. And for the hard dorsal, which is spines, come up with an angle, make a little dip. Another line, another little dip. And we continue with that till we approach where the soft dorsal starts. Then we're just going to follow our oval again to show the shape of the soft dorsal. Bring another little line up that's shorter than the second, and that's the beginning of all of those spines for the hard dorsal. And we can put those spines in. We can also put some in for the soft dorsal. For the pectoral fin, we're going to follow the same shape, but we're going to round it a little, and we don't want to come up to the point because we got to show where it attaches to the fish. For one of the ventral fins, each fish has two of them, but we can only see one, we're going to curve it a little bit and show the attachment to that belly of the fish. Now, a little bit of a point, and we round it for the anal fin. Fish have one anal fin. At this time, we use our eraser, and we erase our guidelines. If you had sketched very lightly, then this won't be too much of a problem. Just go around and very easily erase all of those light sketch lines. And when you're done with all of those, you will have a nice outline of our Nassau grouper, which is the fish that we've been drawing today. So just erase it all completely. You can put in your, your little oval there for the pupil. Now, group are also known as big lips. So we're putting in the lips, bringing a line down, same way for the bottom lip. And another line there for the gill covering. We can put some spines in for the pectoral fin and for the ventral fin. 